So today we're going to focus our um, <clears throat> neck and shoulders. And yes, we, I think it's pretty much universal that we, all of us tend to hold stress in our neck and our shoulders. I have no idea why that is, but it's something to notice. And it's nice to sort of loosen up that area and uh, play with it, right? So um, the, the beauty of this practice is that we really don't have a destination or a goal in mind. We just follow along and we see what happens. And uh, if we hit a, a goal, great. If we don't, great. Right. But we don't want to even add that to stress like, oh, I practice today and I don't feel any better. But while we're practicing, maybe you do. And then maybe we can take that uh, off into our lives. So, um, yeah, we carry a lot of stress in our neck and shoulders. So let's see if we can uh, relieve some of that. And, and I also am feeling my neck today, by the way. It's just not you guys. It's, it's all of us. All right. So let's just sit with comfort. What we're going to do is we're going to sit for a bit because we can do a lot on neck and shoulders there. And then we're going to come to stand. And again, everything's optional. And you're going to listen to your body, right? Sometimes our mind says, oh, yeah, I can do this. And our body's like, well, maybe not. So listen to your body. And as you sit, feel free to close your eyes or you can leave your eyes open and start to tune in. And one of the best ways to do that is to just bring your attention to your breath. And just watch. And as you watch your breath, notice some place in your body where you actually feel the sensations of the breath. So that might be your nose or your chest or your rib cage or your belly or maybe someplace else. So just notice one place where you feel the breath and see if you can stay in that place for the next three to four rounds of breath. Beautiful. Now stay where you are, keep, keep your breath going always. And you might have noticed for some of us, when we pay attention to our breath, it just automatically begins to slow down a little bit. So notice, notice if, if that happened for you. And if it didn't, that's okay too. Did your breath slow down a little bit? Beautiful. <clears throat> Sometimes, oftentimes, we can relieve stress in our body simply by watching our breath. So now deepen your inhale and let a long exhale go. Yeah, nice deep breath in. <sighs> nice long breath out. Beautiful. And then when you're ready, open your eyes, lift your gaze. Sometimes, by the way, when you're going through your day, you might spontaneously take a deep breath without even having the intention to do that. That's your body trying to release and relax. So come forward in your seat, in your chair, so that you're sitting more upright. And find a nice inner lift from your tailbone all the way up to the crown of your head, the top of your head. And with each exhale, see if you can release and relax your shoulders, maybe just a 
teeny weeny bit. Relax the shoulders with your exhale. Nice breath in, nice release with the exhale. Now, everything I, I invite you to do today is an invitation. So you decide if you want to accept my invitation. Let's try this. If you if you lift the back of your head a little bit, then the chin's going to drop a little bit. And then if you drop the back of your head, the chin's going to lift a little bit. As if you're saying yes, without your neck, just the head rocking a little forward, rocking a little backwards. Saying yes. And notice how this movement isn't really involving the neck at all. And yet it can relieve stress in the neck. Now come to neutral, find that nice inner lift from your tailbone to the top of your head. And now we're gonna gently turn our head to the right. It doesn't have to go very far. And then back to the left. So now we're saying no. Nice and slow, gentle movements. Farther is not better, unless that's something that feels good for you. Beautiful. Now back to center, and let's do the little saying yes again. So we're just lifting the chin a little bit, dropping the chin. And all this movement is happening right at the base of your skull, right at the top of the neck. Right. Moving mindfully, yeah. Now come to center, find that nice lift again. And now we're gonna make tiny little circles with our nose. So we're just circling the nose, small circles. Maybe you go a little bigger if you want to, or you can stay small. So again, most of this movement is happening at the uh, top of the neck where the skull meets the neck. And then let's turn the other way, make some circles in the other direction. Soften the shoulders. Soften the effort. Beautiful, and then come back to neutral. Relax your arms down by your sides and just let your arms swing. As if they're, they're just swinging, yeah. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll the shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. One more time. And this time we're gonna go back, up, forward and down, so the other direction. Yeah, one more time. Beautiful. And then swing your arms. And swing them around, give them a good swing. Hydrating the shoulders. All right. Now find that nice inner lift again. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders relaxed, arms down by your sides. We're gonna inhale, lift the arms forward and up. Exhale, float the arms down. Higher is not better, as comfortable, whatever's comfortable, inhale, exhale. As if the breath is lifting the arms and lowering the arms. So we're not just lifting our arms up and down, we're using the breath to help do that movement. Very mindful. Yeah. And then relax the arms down. Now the upper arms are going to rotate out and that turns my hands out like this. So we're going to inhale to the sides and up. And then just turn the hands and come on down. Exhale. So inhale. Shoulders relaxed. Exhale. One more time. Beautiful. And then let's give the shoulders a little roll. Did you like forward, up, back, and down? Or did you like back, up, forward, and down? Which one did you like? We all have our preference. Yeah? All right. 
<laughs> and let your arms swing a little bit. Okay. I'm, and when I laugh, I'm usually laughing at myself, by the way. All right. Now we're going to go forward and up with the arms. We're going to keep the arms lifted, keep breathing. And then we're going to see if we can touch the ceiling with our fingers. So we're getting a little taller. And then we're going to turn our torso to the right and just touch your right knee with your left hand. We're coming into a real gentle twist. Okay. And my head's turning to the right, but I'm going to slowly turn my head to the left. And then I'm going to slowly turn my head back to the right. Let's do that one more time. Nice and slow, smooth, gentle. Yeah. And back to the right. Okay, now, next time you breathe in, release the twist. Come back to center. Reach your fingers up towards the ceiling. Try to touch the ceiling. Keep breathing. And then we'll turn to the left and just touch the left knee or thigh with your right hand. And then we're just gonna slowly turn our head to the right and slowly turn the head back. And one more time. And finish to the left and then when you finish, the inhale is gonna lift you back to center, reach, reach, and release. Beautiful. Bring your hands to your thighs. Okay. Make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Feet firmly on the floor. Now we're going to move with the breath again. We're going to slide the hand. As we inhale, we're going to slide the hands back towards our body and we're going to just lift our chest. You don't have to drop your head back. And then we slide the hands forward as we exhale. And we round and just let your head relax. Look down at the floor. So inhaling, lifting, exhaling, rounding. Now, notice as you do this, when you lift the shoulder blades, the upper back, they come together. And when you round forward, those shoulder blades move apart. So this could be a real nice way to release tension in the upper back and in the upper shoulders, as if you had lower shoulders. Actually, you do. <laughs> okay. Inhale, lift, exhale, round. This feels pretty good. Let's do it one more time. Yeah. Beautiful. And then come back to center. Find that nice inner lift. And now we're going to sit up tall. We're going to reach behind us, either the back of the chair or all the way back. And we're going to keep our, our bottom on the chair firmly. We're going to just lean back a little bit and lift the chest. Now, I'm not dropping my head. I'm just keeping my head lined up with my spine. Uh -huh. So the upper chest is nice and open. Keep breathing. <sighs> all right. And then come back and sit upright. So when we when we lean back, we don't need to drop our head back because that can also create some stress in, in the head. All right, let's roll the shoulders again. All right, so I'm gonna keep my, uh, my right hand either on my thigh or on the chair. I'm gonna externally rotate. That means I'm gonna turn in and my palm's gonna turn out with my left arm, I'm gonna bring my hand up and I'm just gonna barely touch the back of my head, okay? Yeah. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring my head towards my left shoulder. So I'm feeling a little bit of a stretch on the side of my neck. Yeah. And now I'm gonna turn my head up towards the ceiling a little bit, breathing, yeah. And then I'm gonna turn my head back to center. And this time I'm gonna lift my elbow up as I do a little bend over to the right. So I'm feeling a stretch in my, I'm feeling it. That doesn't mean you're feeling it there. And then I'm gonna release and I'm gonna let that arm go and come on down. And I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna let my arms hang and swing. 
just doing this can help relieve stress in the shoulders, just letting your arms hang and swing. Yeah. All right. Let's try the second side. So my left hand's going to come down here. I'm going to I'm going to turn my upper arm out. I'm going to bring the hand up. I'm just barely touching my head. And then I'm going to drop my head towards the right shoulder. And then I'm going to be careful here. I'm just going to turn my head up a little bit. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right, and then I'm going to release the head back to neutral, and I'm going to lift my elbow up, and I'm going to tip over to the left. Keep breathing. Notice the breath. Beautiful. And then back to center, release, and let's swing the arms. Yeah. All right. Now, relax your arms down by your sides. Let them hang. And then we're going to lift the shoulders straight up. We're trying to put your shoulders in your ears and then let them go. <laughs> Let's do that again. Up. Ah, release. One more. Uh, release. And swing your arms. Beautiful. I know some folks who really like that one. <laughs> okay. All right. Now. Sit up nice and tall and just take a moment to notice your breath. And by the way, you can take breath noticing moments anytime during the day. Right? Feeling a little stressed, you just go, wait a minute, let me just check and see how my breath is right now. All right, release your arms down by your sides. And we're going to lift the arms straight forward. And then we're going to lift the left hand a little higher. And we're going to reach around and carefully hug our opposite shoulders. Just noticing. Now, we're going to turn our elbows to the right. And we're going to turn our head to the left. Right? So less is more. You don't have to go real far here. You stop when it feels right for you to stop. All right, now we'll turn the arms back to center and we're gonna go the other way and turn the head to the right. Yeah, and then back to center and we're gonna release the arms and let the arms swing. All right. Let's do the second side. So we're going to lift the arms straight forward. This time the right hand's going to come up a little higher and we'll reach around. This might feel different. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Now we're going to turn the elbows to the left and turn our head to the right. Remember, less is more. So as soon as you start to feel uh, some sensation, you can stop there. All right, let's turn the elbows the other way and turn the head the other way. Yeah, all right. And then back to center and relax the arms and let them swing. And actually, let's let's swing them this way, just, just for fun. Because that's why we're here, right? <laughs> just for fun. <laughs> all right, yeah. And then let's sit up nice and tall in our mountain pose, um, our seated mountain, so nice tall spine. Let's take a moment to just notice. Notice your breath. Notice where in your body you feel the breath. All right, beautiful. Now, relax your arms down, and we're going to bring them forward. And, I, and I'd like you to spread your fingers, so and they're facing each other. Have the palms facing each other. We're going to inhale and bring the arms behind us, opening the chest. And as we exhale, we're gonna round forward and just touch the hands together, relax your head. So inhale, opening, exhale, rounding. Try to move with the breath. So as you open, it's like a bellows. You're drawing the breath in. And as you exhale, you're pressing the breath out, bringing the hands together one more time, opening, 
Yeah, and rounding. This is one of my favorites. Beautiful, and then release your hands down. So take note of some of the things might feel really great. Some of the things you're like, eh, you know, I'm not so crazy about that one. But uh, remember the ones you really enjoy because you can do that anytime, okay? All right, let's come to stand. Now, remember the standing technique. We want to bring the heels back a little bit. We're going to tip from our hips. We're going to push our feet into the floor and come on up. Strong legs. All right, I'm going to move my chair so that if I want to use it for balance, I can use the high back of the chair here, the back of the chair for balance. So if you'd like to come up, if you don't want to stand, you don't have to stand today, right? Remember, this is your... This is your yoga and your mindful movement. I'm just going to change my camera angle there. Yeah, so we're going to come into mountain pose. So again, you can hold the chair or not, whatever feels right for you today. So notice, your, notice the ground under your feet, the floor. Soften your knees. Soften your hips, soften your shoulders, soften your neck. Notice your breath. All right, now we did this sitting down. Let's try it standing up. We're going to lift the shoulders up and then let them go. Right. up and down. Some days it feels like my shoulders are in my ears. I want to release. Beautiful. And then bring the feet apart a little bit. We're going to let the arms swing and we're just going to turn the shoulders. Let the arms swing. This is another one of my favorites. I don't know. And just because it's my favorite doesn't mean it's your favorite, right? You have to, you have to figure out what you like to do and how your body likes to move. All right. Okay. Back to our mountain pose. And imagine that you're pushing energy into the floor through your feet. And at the same time, you're lifting your, your uh, body up, coming into a real nice posture. Soften your shoulders. Soften your knees just a little bit. Beautiful. Now bring your hands onto your hips. And we're just going to slowly turn our head to the right. Slowly turn our head to the left. Let's do that two more times. Just slow, gentle movements. And you might notice maybe you're turning a little further this time. Maybe not. Farther's not better. Remember, it's just what you feel is right for you. Beautiful. And then relax your arms and let them swing. And let's just bend the knees and do a little slow motion walking. Let the arms swing. So when you when you go for walks, it's really nice to get your arms involved. That can also help relax the shoulders. Okay. That's the way the body wants to move. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. It's fun watching you all do that. Okay, let's come back to mountain pose. I'm the only one that can see you, remember? <laughs> all right, back to mountain pose. Now we're going to inhale the arms forward and up. And relax, re release the arms forward and down. Now as you lift the arms, imagine you're pressing your feet into the floor as you lift the arms up and down. This time, we're going to keep the arms lifted. You're going to reach over with your uh, uh, left hand and grab your right wrist. And then I'm going to pull that wrist a little bit, and I'm going to tip over to the left. Yeah. Beautiful. And then back to center. I'm going to switch hands. I'm going to little pull to that arm so it gets a little longer. I tip over the other way. 
Yeah, and then back to center and release the arms down and roll your shoulders. Yeah. Mountain pose. Now, I, I, we're gonna lift both arms forward and then I'm gonna reach over with my left hand and grab my right, uh, actually I'm gonna hold it underneath my right wrist like this. And then I'm gonna turn my shoulder to the left and I'm gonna turn my head to the right. So you might feel a little stretch, yeah. All right, and then back to center. I'm gonna switch hands and I'm gonna turn this way. So I'm feeling a little stretch across the top of my shoulder here, my deltoid muscle. Mm -hmm. And turn the head, yeah, beautiful. And then back to center and swing your arms. All right, now I'm gonna show you the, the rear view. You stay right where you are. I'm gonna take my hands I'm in my mountain pose and uh, let's have the back of the hand, the palms facing back. And I'm just going to see if I can bring my arms behind me like this. Okay. Side view, bring my hands behind me like this. So what I want to avoid is this. Okay. I just want to keep my torso up. I just want to bring my arms back and then I'm going to let them go forward and back and forward and back. Just letting them swing. Yeah, working on shoulders today, neck, beautiful. All right, and then shake out your legs, loosey-goosey. <laughs> Do a little dance, okay. <laughs> All right. Now, working on shoulders a little more. We're gonna bring the arms, forward we're going to lift the left arm a little higher we're going to reach around and grab opposite shoulders we did this sitting down we're doing it standing up now now i'm going to lift my elbows a little bit so they point straight forward soft knees and we're going to turn the shoulders to the left and the head to the right so a little bit of a twist in the mid back and then we'll go through and we'll go the other way yeah, hopefully I'm not wearing out your shoulders back to the right, back to the left. Now back to center, and here's what I want you to do. I want you to release the arms quickly. Yeah, all right, beautiful. All right, we got to do the other side, the other, the other fold. So here we go. We're going to lift the arms forward. This time the right arm comes up, we'll grab around. So that changed a little bit. Lift the elbows a little bit, and then we'll turn the elbows to the left, head to the right. Notice how the, the hips might turn a little bit. That's good that you're listening to your body. One more time, each side. One more time. Back to center, and then really, ready? Here we go, one, two, three. <laughs> All right. Give them a swing. All right, let's see, what else do I have here? Ah, yes, okay. So I'd like to play with our warrior pose, warrior two, it's called. So if your balance is a little iffy, let me just show you this. If you're balanced, if you feel like today you wanna, uh, you wanna have a chair in front of you for balance, then you can do that, okay? Otherwise you don't need to do that. Um, I'm just seeing if anybody's doing that. Okay, yeah. So that chair's there. Look at there's no shame in using the chair for balance. Okay, so we're gonna step. Uh, we're gonna step the feet apart about three feet or so. And you got the chair there. There you got the chair in front of you. Okay. Now, relax your shoulders. All right, my right foot, I can hold on to the chair. I'm going to turn it out 90 degrees, okay? My back foot, I'm going to lift up the heel, and I'm going to move it back behind me, okay? 
So my toes are just kind of angled a little bit this way. So that's a really important movement. I want to feel the effort of my energy going into both feet. Now I'm going to externally rotate my upper arms so my palms turn out. I'm going to I'm going to firm the back of my arms as I lift them up and I'm going to reach out and then I'm just going to turn my hands down. And then keeping weight in that back foot, I'm going to bend the front knee forward, but not past the ankle and send energy evenly down into both feet. And then I'm going to take my head and I'm slowly going to look over those front fingers. Now, this could be a little tough on the shoulder. So let's everybody do this. Bring your hands into prayer position. Notice how that feels. And then I'm just going to take my head and I'm going to turn and look behind me. And then I'm going to turn my head back to the front. So we're going to do that again. I want you to decide, do you want to keep your hands in prayer position or do you want to lift your arms up? You decide. Look over the front fingers, slowly turn your head, look over the back. If this is causing any stress in the shoulders. Stay in prayer position. Turn the head back to the front. Beautiful. Relax the arms down. Straighten the front knee. We're going to parallel our feet and then step the feet together. Take a moment in your mountain pose. Yeah. Warrior poses, that was warrior two, are really nice. If you're having a bad day and you're feeling kind of down, warrior poses can really build confidence and strength. And uh, they're great poses. This is warrior two. Let's step the feet apart. We're going to turn the left toes out. The back heel is going to lift, turn in, and plant. That's my, I'm grounding. Great for building strength in the legs, okay? Prayer position or externally rotate and lift the hands and then just turn the palms. So we're using the underarms to help support. And then we're gonna keep weight in that back heel as we bend the front knee forward, not past the ankle. So my knee is right over my ankle. We don't want the knee ahead like that. We want it right over breathing. Prayer position or arms up, look over the front, turn the head slowly, look over to the back, back to the front. We'll do it again. Change your arm position if you want to. Look front, look back. Beautiful. And then we'll release the arms, straighten the front knee, parallel your feet. And then step the feet together, mountain pose. Check in with your breath. Soften something. Knees, hips, shoulders, soft. All right. So now I'm going to use the back of the chair, and I'm going to invite you to do the same thing. So I'm going to turn and face the back of the chair and I, I'm going to use this chair back for balance. So take your time transitioning. Okay, we're going to come into downward facing dog in a moment. We call it half dog on the chair. <laughs> okay, so I'm starting in mountain pose. I'm going to step my right leg straight back. So I didn't bring the leg in, I, I stepped it straight back, okay? Yeah. And my back toes are kind of pointing forward a little bit, yeah? Now I'm gonna step my left leg straight back. And I'm hinging from my hips and I have a neutral spine and I'm going to push gently into the chair as I move my rear end back. And my knees are, have a little bend to them. And I'm going to look straight down at the mat. 
And I'm going to imagine I'm pushing the chair forward as I move my rear end back. And I'm gently going to turn my head from side to side, just a little, just easy, no stress, no strain. Beautiful. And now I'm going to step forward, well, walk forward towards the back of the chair, come into mountain pose. All right, beautiful. Now I'm gonna we're gonna come back to our warrior two position in a moment. Okay. We'll step the feet apart. I'm gonna turn my right toes out and my back heel is gonna move back. So that's our 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 uh, starting position, strong legs, hands on hips. I'm going to bend my front knee forward, not past the ankle, right? So that's past the ankle. Now we want to keep it right over or behind the ankle. Yeah. Now I'm going to hinge from this right hip. I'm going to hinge forward like this and pushing back through this back leg. I'm going to take this forearm. I'm going to rest it on my thigh, but I'm not sinking. I'm lifting up. I'm going to take this hand. I'm going to bring it forward and over at an angle and I'm gonna lean back a little bit and I'm pushing into that back foot and I'm reaching through this arm and I'm gonna lean back a little bit, open my chest. My head is lined up with my spine, so I don't wanna drop my head, I wanna keep it lifted. Reaching, side angle, and then I'm gonna bring this hand to my hip. I'm gonna bring this hand to my thigh. I'm gonna bring myself up all the way, parallel my feet, and step the feet together, and roll your shoulders, swing your arms, do -si do grab your partner. <laughs> all right, let's do the second side, side angle. Now we can also use the chair in side angle. I'm just gonna show you this as a variation on this side, because we have lots of ways to do these poses. So. This is just a variation. If you want to do what we did on the first side, that's fine. I'm just going to show you this if, you, if you're interested. Step the feet apart. My left toes turn out. My back heel moves back. That's the key, remember? Yeah. Hands on hips. I'm going to hinge from this front hip, and I'm going to tip forward a little bit, and then I'm going to bend my knee forward, and I'm pushing back into that back leg as I do that. Yeah. Now, if you want to use the chair, you can bring your hand to the chair and swing your arm down and over, or you rest your hand on your thigh. Your choice. Push into that back foot, reaching. Remember, head, head is lined up with the spine to keep the neck happy. Beautiful. Let's bring the hand to the hip and lift on up. Straighten the knee, parallel your feet, and step your feet together. Mountain pose. Take a breath. We're almost done standing. We're going to come down in a moment. And let's do a downward facing dog, either on the chair seat or the back of the chair. Okay. So again, I'm starting mountain pose. This time, let's step the left foot back first and then the right foot. I'm walking back a little bit, soft knees, rear end moves back, knees start to straighten-ish. They don't have to come all the way straight. Long spine. Looking straight down, my ears are right between my arms. If you want to just slowly turn your head, if that doesn't feel good, then you skip that part. All right, beautiful. And then let's walk back up. Yeah. Let's take a moment in mountain pose. We're going to get ready to transition to another place. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> uh, 
Just check in. What are you noticing? This is a good practice when you're going through your day, just to check in without judgment. You're just noticing, oh, you know, I'm feeling this way, I'm feeling that way. It's okay. However you're feeling is perfect. All right. So now I'm going to give you two choices. Choice one is to sit back down in your chair. Choice two is to come and lie down on your back on the floor. Okay. And I'm going to um, probably show you. I'm going to show you both. So if you want to sit in the chair, I'm going to turn my camera down a little bit. Yeah. Or lie down on the floor. Now, if, when you come to lie down on the floor, have your knees bent and your feet on the floor. And if you're sitting in a chair, you're going to sit up nice and tall on the front edge of your chair. Okay. Now, if you're lying on the floor, uh, uh, one knee at a time, bring both knees up and hold on with your hands and rock and roll. And us folks sitting in a chair, we're going to bring one knee up. And then we're going to bring the other knee up. We're just going to go side to side a little bit. Yeah, and folks on the floor, beautiful. Just rocking and rolling a little bit side to side. All right. Folks on the floor, come back to center and, and bring your feet to the floor and then extend your legs long on the floor. And us folks in the chair, we're going to bring our feet forward like this. I'm holding on to the chair, okay? Folks on the floor and sitting in the chair, we're all going to do this together. Relax your arms. We're going to inhale our arms up and over and exhale, release the arms down. And folks on the chair, if it feels better to have your feet on the floor like this, you can do that. We're going to keep going. Inhale up and over. Follow your breath. Exhale down. This time, folks on the floor, when you come up and over, keep the arms up and over. Only as high as is comfortable. Keep breathing. This is actually a little more challenging in the chair. Keep breathing. Uh -huh. Never stop breathing. Beautiful. And then let's release the arms down. And folks sitting in a chair, we're going to swing the arms. And uh, yeah, like that. <laughs> Okay. All right. Now, people on the floor, bend your knees, feet on the floor. And people on the chair, I'm going to get to you in a moment, okay? People on the floor, bring your feet away from your body a little bit. Keep the knees bent and the feet on the floor. And then widen your feet and widen your knees. Yeah. And then, folks, on the floor, you're going to drop your knees to the left and bring your right arm out to the right. And, folks, in the chair, we're going to lift the arms up and we're going to turn to the right. We did this at the beginning of class, coming into a little gentle twist. Folks on the floor, no uh, pushing. You're just relaxing, right? If this doesn't feel good, you come out. Beautiful. And then folks in the chair, we're going to come back to center, lift the arms, try to touch the ceiling. Folks on the floor, head to go the other way as we all come down. Yeah, go the other way. A little gentle twist in the spine. Beautiful. And then folks in the chair, we're going to come back to center, lift, reach, lift, reach. And relax your arms, folks, on the floor. Come back to center and bring your knees up towards your chest. Hold on with your hands and rock gently from side to side. And folks in the chair, what, what can we do? We can do this. We can just, uh, let's see. What does your body want to do right now? If your body's asking you for something, go ahead, go for it. What does your body want to do? Yeah. Oh, nice. You guys are doing some great stuff. All right. Sometimes our body knows what it wants. All right. Now, 
Folks on the floor, if you want to extend your legs long on the floor, relax your hands down by your sides. Folks in the chair, let's lean back into our chair. And I'm going to do a little breathing practice with you all because this can be very helpful for releasing, relieving, releasing stress in the neck, in the shoulders, and even in the mind. So sit comfortably, lie down comfortably. And start to watch your natural breath, right? So we're not changing the breath at all yet. Just everyday breathing. Now, in a moment, I'm going to ask you to try something. And, and what I'm going to ask you to do is when you inhale, I want you to count your breath. So you might count one, two. You might count one, two, three. The number doesn't matter. So when you breathe in, naturally count one, two, three, whatever. When you exhale, see if you can make your exhale the same count. So if you're inhaling one, two, three, make the exhale one, two, three, or four or two, whatever your number is, doesn't matter. Make your inhale and your exhale the same count. We'll call this an even count. Balancing the inhale with the exhale. Now, if that feels okay for you, you can try something here. Try adding one count only to the exhale. So if you're inhaling to three, see if you can make your exhale four. And if that doesn't feel good, go back to the even count. Now, if adding one count to the exhale felt okay, try adding two counts. So you're slowing your exhale. So if you're inhaling to three, maybe try making the exhale five. If that doesn't feel good, go back to one of the previous counts. Now, if that feels pretty good, you wanna try adding three counts to your exhale. If you're inhaling to three, see if you can make your exhale six. But if that doesn't feel good, go back to one of the previous ones that felt good. Whatever counting you're doing, let's do it for two more breaths. Beautiful. Now I invite, invite you to stop all the counting just come back to your everyday natural breath. No more counting. Just breathe. Natural breath. Softening. Imagining that your body is getting very heavy whether you're sitting or lying down. Very heavy. Notice where in your body you're feeling the sensations of the breath. Maybe in your nose, maybe in your belly, maybe somewhere in between. Just 
Stay with it. Beautiful. And now letting go of any effort. No more doing. Just be. Just being. Just simply be. If you start to drift away someplace, simply notice that you drift it off and come back. Come back to your breath. Come back to your relaxation. It's okay to drift away. Just simply notice and come back. Notice what's happening for you now. Come back. Now, very gently start to deepen your inhale. Let a long exhale go. So a deeper breath in. And maybe as if you're blowing out a candle, just a long, slow, smooth exhale. And before we start to move our body, just take note of how you're how you're feeling right now. And then if you're feeling pretty good, you might even smile a little bit just to see what happens. You turn the corners of your mouth up a little bit. And notice if that elicits any sensations. And now bring a little wiggle to your fingers and your toes. Make some circles with your ankles and your wrists. And then slowly bring larger movements into your arms and your legs. Any movements that would feel good. Anything that feels good. And if you're lying on the floor, bend your knees, put your feet on the floor. If you want to hug your knees up again, you can. If folks sitting in a chair, you might come forward. They just come up a little more upright. And folks on the floor, roll to the side of your choice and use the strength of your hands to guide yourself up and either sit back in a chair or sit on the floor, whatever is comfortable. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. And I invite you today to acknowledge to yourself, say it aloud in your head, one thing that you are grateful for today. I am grateful for my favorite color. I'm grateful for the beautiful weather. I'm grateful for my breath. Anything, one thing that you have are grateful for. 
we end our practice saying namaste. The light in me sees and honors the light in every one of you. Namaste. Namaste.